Okay, I'm going to teach you today how to do partial products multiplication using a two-digit number times another two-digit number. And we're going to go through it um, so that you can be nice and organized and get the correct answer at the end. So to start off with, you'll notice that I have separated out my numbers into columns so that they are stacked really nicely on top of each other. And I've drawn lines in between each row so that each place uh, in the number has its own spot to be. Um, you'll also notice that I even put an extra row uh, knowing that my number will end up being pretty large. So I've even gone beyond the ones in the tens place and I've added on a spot for the hundreds or even up into the thousands place knowing that this will be a large number. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do after I've drawn the lines is take a look at my two numbers. I have 63 and 49 and if I pull apart each of those numbers I end up getting 60 and 3 and 40 and 9. And I just write those small off to the side um, so that I can see what numbers it is that I really am multiplying and that I make sure that I only multiply each of those numbers uh, one time with um, the corresponding number and we'll go through that step by step so you can see how that all will work. Um, to begin with, I'm going to start by multiplying 40 times 60. And so when I do that, with my 40 times 60, off to the left hand side, I'm going to actually write out the problem 40 times 60. I'm going to draw a little arrow. And this is where I can remember with my basic facts that 4 times 6 is 24. And with the two zeros that were a part of that, of each of those numbers, I'll add that onto the end to get an answer of 2,400 and I've separated out each of those numbers so that one is in each column for the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands places. Um, after I'm done with the 40 times 60, now I'm going to take that 40 again and I'm going to multiply it times the other number that's on the top, which is 3. So I have 40 times 3. I write it off to the side. I draw my arrow to point to what the answer will be. Once again, I know that my basic fact of 4 times 3 is 12, and there is one zero, so I'm going to tack that one zero onto the end for an answer of 120, which I will also put um, right below the 2,400. And you'll notice that everything is lined up carefully. Um, I put the ones in the ones place, the tens in the tens place, the hundreds in the hundreds place. Now that the 40 has had a chance to multiply with everything in our top number, the 60 and the 3, now we move on to the 9 having a turn to multiply with both the 60 and the 3. So I'm going to start with 9 times 60, and my basic fact inside of there is 54 with 1 zero, so I put that all together and that makes 540. And finally I have 9 times 3. I write that off to the side, I draw my arrow, and 9 times 3 is a basic fact, and that gets me 27 as my answer. Now I can draw a line underneath all of this because my 40 had a chance to multiply with each of the top numbers, and my 9 had a chance to multiply with each of the top numbers. And now I will add these all together, and as you go through column by column, you will come to the total answer of 3,087. Um, lots of little things to remember on here, but really all you are doing is working with basic facts and then adding on the zeros. Um, a, a key thing is to make sure that you just stay organized and stay in each of your rows. That will help you a lot.